What challenges do large language models, LLMs, face in tasks requiring high levels of reliability, safety, and ethical alignment? Large language models, LLMs, face challenges in tasks requiring high levels of reliability, safety, and ethical alignment due to the limitations of existing approaches to reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. These challenges stem from the reliance on parametric reward models like the Bradley-Terry model, which may not fully capture the complexity of human preferences. Human preferences are not always consistent, transitive, or rational, leading to difficulties in accurately modeling them. Additionally, the assumption of a monotonous and transitive relationship among preferences in parametric models may not align with real, world human decision-making, which can be influenced by various factors and exhibit inconsistency. Moreover, the traditional RLHF algorithms, such as those based on explicit or implicit reward models, focus on reward maximization objectives determined by parametric models. These models may not always reflect the nuanced and diverse nature of human preferences, leading to challenges in fine-tuning LLMs to be aligned with human preferences effectively. The complexity of human behavior and preferences poses a significant challenge for LLMs in tasks requiring reliability, safety, and ethical alignment, as these models need to navigate through the intricacies of human decision, making and preferences accurately to ensure their outputs are aligned with human expectations and values. How does reinforcement learning from human feedback, or LHF, also known as preference-based reinforcement learning, PBRL, address the challenges faced by LLMs? Reinforcement learning from human feedback, or LHF, also known as preference-based reinforcement learning, PBRL, addresses the challenges faced by large language models, LLMs, by providing a framework for policy optimization that focuses on aligning LLMs with human preferences. RLHF aims to make LLMs more reliable, safe, and ethically aligned by fine-tuning them based on human feedback. This framework utilizes methods such as reinforcement learning algorithms, like Proximal Policy Optimization, PPO, to optimize LLMs by maximizing expected reward functions derived from human preference feedback data. RLHF can either rely on explicit reward models, such as the Bradley-Terry model, or implicit models like Direct Preference Optimization, DPO, which forego the training of a separate reward model. RLHF acknowledges the complexity of human preferences, which may not always follow a linear hierarchy, and aims to capture this by working directly with preference probabilities rather than fixed reward scores. By formulating RLHF as a two-player constant-sum game to identify the Nash Equilibrium policy, RLHF algorithms like Self-Play Preference Optimization, SPPO, can effectively fine-tune LLMs without external supervision, achieving significant performance improvements across various benchmarks. SPPO outperforms iterative DPO and IPO, showcasing its ability to enhance LLM alignment and achieve state-of-the-art performance without relying on strong external supervision. Can you explain the difference between two-step RLHF algorithms and one-step direct preference algorithms mentioned in the paper? The two-step RLHF algorithms, such as InstructGPT, first establish a reference policy based on supervised pre-training or instruction-based fine-tuning. Then, they train a separate reward model, typically based on the Bradley-Terry model, to obtain an explicit reward function reflecting human preferences. Subsequently, reinforcement learning algorithms like Proximal Policy Optimization, PPO, are used to fine-tune the reference policy by maximizing the expected reward function. On the other hand, one-step direct preference algorithms, like Direct Preference Optimization, DPO, forego the training of a separate reward model. Instead, they use the log likelihood ratio to implicitly represent the reward score, which is then integrated into the same Bradley-Terry model to directly optimize the large language model, LLM. The key difference lies in the approach to obtaining the reward score. 
2. Step algorithms explicitly train a reward model based on human feedback data, while 1. Step algorithms implicitly represent the reward score without the need for a separate reward model. What are the theoretical benefits of using the self-play preference optimization, SPPO, algorithm for large language model alignment compared to other methods like DPO and IPO? The theoretical benefits of using the self-play preference optimization, SPPO, algorithm for large language model alignment compared to other methods like direct policy optimization, DPO, and identity preference optimization, IPO, lie in its ability to iteratively converge to the Nash equilibrium policy, providing provable guarantees for reaching the optimal policy on average. SPPO leverages a multiplicative weight update framework that ensures the updated policy is obtained by fine, tuning the reference policy based on the average advantage over the current policy, leading to a more stable and efficient convergence process. Unlike DPO and IPO, which focus on pair-wise comparisons and may struggle with data sparsity issues, SPPO directly optimizes the probability distance between responses, allowing for a more direct and flexible representation of human preferences without assuming a transitive relationship among preferences. Additionally, SPPO's loss function effectively increases the likelihood of the chosen response and decreases that of the rejected response, achieving a more balanced and effective optimization compared to symmetric pairwise losses used in DPO and IPO. Furthermore, SPPO's iterative nature ensures a consistent improvement in performance across iterations, outperforming DPO and IPO in various benchmarks without over-optimizing against the preference model. Overall, SPPO's design explicitly addresses data sparsity issues, provides a clear convergence path to the Nash equilibrium, and offers a more direct and effective optimization approach for large language model alignment compared to DPO and IPO. How is the performance of the SPPO algorithm evaluated on various benchmarks such as AlpacaVal 2.0 and MT Bench? The performance of the SPPO algorithm is evaluated on various benchmarks such as AlpacaVal 2.0 and MT Bench by comparing the win rate over the GPT-4 Turbo baseline on 805 prompts in AlpacaVal 2.0. The evaluation includes length-controlled win rates and overall win rates, showing steady improvements across iterations. SPPO ITER 3 achieves the highest win rate, with performance gains over previous iterations. The length-controlled win rate for SPPO outperforms DPO and IPO, while also effectively controlling the tendency towards longer output lengths. Additionally, SPPO is compared with other state-of-the-art AI chatbots on the AlpacaVal 2.0 leaderboard, showing competitive performance. On MT Bench, SPPO ITER 3 outperforms all baseline models, achieving an average score of 7.59. The performance improvements are notable in roleplay, reasoning, math, and coding tasks. The results demonstrate that SPPO enhances the performance of the base model across different benchmarks showcasing its effectiveness in fine-tuning large language models. What experimental results demonstrate the effectiveness of the SPPO algorithm in fine-tuning large language models on benchmarks like AlpacaVal 2.0 and OpenLLM leaderboard? The experimental results demonstrate the effectiveness of the SPPO algorithm in fine-tuning large language models on benchmarks like AlpacaVal 2.0 and open LLM leaderboard by showcasing significant performance improvements. Specifically, the SPPO algorithm, after three iterations, achieved a notable increase in the win rate over the GPT-4 Turbo baseline on AlpacaVal 2.0, with SPPO ITER 3 showcasing the highest win rate of 31.02% and a length-controlled win rate of 28.52%. This improvement was consistent across iterations, with steady enhancements observed over Mistral, 7B Instruct, VO. 2. DPO and IPO. Additionally, SPPO outperformed competing models on AlpacaVal 2. 0. 
demonstrating competitive performance against models like GPT-40613 and LAMA 370B Instruct. On the Open LLM leaderboard, SPPO enhanced the base model's performance on various datasets, achieving a state-of-the-art average score of 66. 75. These results highlight the effectiveness of SPPO in improving the alignment and performance of large language models across different evaluation benchmarks.